Hi everyone, my name is Bandeep. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, we are going to discuss about creating decent algorithm. We'll do the practical implementation of it using Python code. And uh, in previous video, we discussed uh, uh, the conceptual part of it on whiteboard, how uh, this algorithm actually works. So uh, without wasting any further time, let's get started. So as I discussed in previous video in gradient descent, we always try to minimize uh, a particular function. So we and what we do, we uh, do with the help of derivatives. So we try to find uh, the var variables which are used in that function. We try to find the values of those variables and try to find at what values of those variable uh, that particular function will be minimum will result a minimum value so that's the idea so um, in this what we are going to do we are going to implement gradient descent concept on M uh, on our cost function uh, and which is our mean squared error in case of linear regression so let's get started uh, i'm uh, very at starting, I'm using uh, a NumPy array. Uh, so what I'm trying to do, I'm using only one uh, independent variable and one target variable. So my X is my independent variable. I just initialized with four or five values. Um, and Y is my target variable. So uh, you can see that there is a equation y is equal to mx plus b. So you can understand that for each uh, uh, x, this is the y value. So and so we need to find value of m and b, and we need to find at what value of m and b uh, for this data uh, the cost function will be minimum. So how we will do this? Uh, so we will implement the gradient descent algorithm on our cost function. So what is our cost function? Cost function is our, uh, when we do linear regression, we try to find the cost function. Uh, what we do uh, in cost function, we find um, the uh, y minus y hat, uh, y hat is our predicted value. And then we take the square and we divide it by number of data points. So this is the formula. So this is our cost function, uh, MSC one by N, where I is equal to one to N. This is the summation of Y I minus Y predicted. That means uh, for actual value of Y and then uh, predicted value of Y, what is the error? And then we take this uh, square of it and um, then we divide it to average it out. So that is our uh, cost function. So the whole idea is this for this cost function, we are going to find out value of M and B uh, and those value of M and B uh, will result this MSE uh, with minimum value. So that's the whole idea. So. Uh, this is the implementation of gradient descent. Uh, so I'm at initial value. I'm starting with uh, I'm initializing with zero, some random value M and B. Uh, so I initialized with zero iteration is the number of iteration for which uh, I'm going to uh, run this gradient descent uh, concept or algorithm on my cost function. So I have taken as 10,000 as of now uh, and and then I find the number of, uh, because we are going to use this N and is the number of data points. So N is this one, one by N. So number of data points that we have. So we we will need this value. So that's how we find, find this value number of, uh, and learning rate is something, um, uh, is the step size uh, that we take during uh, learning or during training uh, between each iteration. Generally, this is recommended uh, that our learning rate should be minimum and uh, our iteration should be uh, kind of, you know, uh, as a high value. So that's way uh, that's the how uh, that's the way we can find the right value of M and B. I will show you when I'll run this code, uh, how the value of these two variables will impact our result. 
So for this iteration, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find out why predicted, which is my M current. Uh, that means my current slope into my current value of X and then B current mx plus b it's a just simple equation which i just show, showed to you then i'm finding the course function which is this one um, course function is y i minus y hat or y predicted then i'm taking the square of it and then i'm uh, kind of um, you know doing the summation of that and dividing it by n so uh, to average it out so the the same thing i am doing um, for each value, for each value in y minus y predicted, what I'm doing, uh, I'm doing just square of it. And then uh, after I'm doing the summation of that square and dividing it by n. The same thing I have implemented in uh, here in this line, the, this is my cost function. Then as if you remember my previous video, um, then what we did in previous video. So with respect to this cost function, we need to find the value of M such that uh, this cost function result uh, a minimum value. So uh, to find the value of M, what we will do, we will do the uh, derivative of this equation with respect to M and then we will find the M derivative. So that's the same thing that I'm doing. M derivative is my this one uh, D by DM. Uh, if I take the derivative of this whole function, which is this one, uh, I'm just what I have done here is here y predicted and this y predicted uh, is replaced by mx plus b because our y predicted is uh, mx plus b. So I am I have just uh, taken the uh, uh, derivative of it with respect to m. And the similar way for the same cost function, I am uh, doing the derivative of this cost function with respect to B. Uh, this is the formula. And uh, so the same thing that I'm going in to do in these two next lines. So what I am doing here is uh, the same thing. Um, I'm doing minus two by N. This is minus two by N. And this minus is out minus two by N. And then I am doing multiplying X by y i minus y predicted m x plus b uh, i can write it as a y predicted so that's the only thing that i am doing i am doing the minus 2 by n into some um, summation of what y i minus y predicted multiply it by x and then sum it and then uh, divide it by uh, number of elements and multiply it by number two the similar way uh, i'm just implemented the b derivative which is this one two by n summation of uh, uh, summation of y i minus y predicted here only only the difference is that here we do not have x and here we have x that's the only difference so this is the partial derivative of cost function with respect to b um, now i have find uh, i have found m derivative b derivative cost function then what i'm going to do i'm going to update my m current value and b current value how i am going to update it with it m current jo, uh, that is my current value into a minus learning rate into m derivative so this is how i am going to update my m current value the similar way i'm going to update my b current value so what will happen in next iteration this will be the um, this is the newly updated value of m current and this will be the newly updated value of b current will be uh, taken and then i again i am going to calculate the cost function then i am i will calculate the m derivative b derivative then again i will update my m, m and b so the whole idea here is that we are trying to find with each value of m and b that we are updating in each iteration we are finding how our cost function value is uh, changing whether it is increasing decreasing or what is happening here and after that i'm just uh, simply printing this all these values and then um, i'm just calling this function so let me uh, show it to you so now if you take a deep look at this output so at initial uh, when my iteration is zero this is the m value this is the b value 
which is calculated by our code and this is the cost function value at iteration 0 so as you can see that as iteration are increasing our cost function is decreasing that means a value of our cost is decreasing and at each iteration we are uh, picking new value or we are updating our new value for m and b so in the next iteration this has become my m value this has become my b value and see here cost is uh, decreasing earlier it was 89 now it has 88 the similar way you can if you take a deep look this is keep decreasing so keep decreasing keep decreasing if i take a, at last i have done 10000 iteration so now at uh, last iteration you can see that my cost function has come to 0.47 from 89 so we started from 89 and then uh, we have reached till 0.47 and these are the value of m and b so this whole means that uh, at this value of m and this value of b this is my cost function so now uh let me show you the uh, effect of learning rate on this so if i uh, as i told you that generally uh, what is done uh, learning rate is the step size uh, so generally what we do we always take learning rate as minimum value uh, if we take uh, a maximum value uh, or a large value what will happen is that uh, our um, you know instead of decreasing uh, our uh, cost function value may start um, increasing so what will happen that if you are taking a big step size uh, so it is quite possible that we miss the local minima as i shared in my previous video as well so if i am taking as uh, 0.1 uh, as learning rate then you can see that what is the effect of it on my uh, cost function see here it is uh, at iteration 0 the cost was 89 and uh, in the next iteration itself cost has almost uh, um, i mean increased almost twice so this function from 89 the cost function has reached to 165 then 307 573 so you can see that uh, instead of decreasing error um, the cost or the error has started increasing at each iteration so that's the uh, impact of learning rate on our gradient descent so it is always said that we should uh, take a learning rate with minimum value and uh, a very small value uh, pardon me as uh, when i say minimum value that means a uh, uh, very small value and when i say maximum value then that means that uh, higher value so if i take let's say iteration as 100 value uh, if i want to do only 100 time i want to check that then you can see that now i again i have updated my learning rate to 0.001 uh, so earlier it was 0.0001 so you can see that this is decreasing but uh, uh the learn uh, the cost function since we have raised uh, we have uh, executed this only 100 100 time so that's the that's why it has shown that and uh, we we can see that our cost function has started from 89 and it uh, keep uh, decreasing and till i 100th iteration it has come to uh, 1.64 so since it is decreasing so uh, i'll say that we want to uh, do more iteration we want to bring it more uh, down so now at 1000 you can see that it has decreased more see so uh, this is how uh, gradient descent works um, that's all for this video uh, i will upload this uh, uh, code into my github repo uh, and will drop the link for this uh, uh, python notebook in that uh, in the description of this video and uh, that's all for this video thanks all thanks for watching this see you and uh, see you in next video till then bye bye take care and a uh, last thing uh, please like subscribe my channel if you want something specific to be covered in machine learning please let me know in comments i'll be uh, happy to help you that's all thank you